Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's do my Pisces, my love. Okay. Pisces, my love. First two weeks of April 2019. Let's see what's going on. My fishies. My fishies. My fishies. I'm working from bed, guys. I'm working for bed. And the blanket's all messed up because Goosey Goose decided to mend herself a little hole. Okay. Um, Pisces, you got denial and blame. Two came out. And then freedom at the bottom of the deck. So, uh, you know, it's, it, it talks about, you know, fear. It, it, it's fear. But you got the blame game. So it's like be responsible for your own shiznit. Okay, be responsible for your own happiness, your own freedom. Go create it, you know. Don't put the blame on no one else. Go do what it is you need to do, okay. Um, the only thing I kind of feel like is stopping you is this whole denial. So to me, it's like you're not seeing something. Somebody needs an awakening, for sure. I mean, these are the lessons you're in. These are the lessons you're meant to sit in, okay. But it's like... Denial is easier said than done because it's like it's like you know, but you're like nope. So it's like I I feel like some of my my fishies are playing the blame game, you know, like it's not me, it's them, or blah 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 blah. Okay, so Pisces, you want freedom? Go get it. You're able to get it, you know. Tool of fire. You know, it's, it's, it's choosing a path. All right. Do I, do I, do I stay or do I go? It's, it's that type of energy. Okay. Um, center earth. So it looks like you're choosing money or a foundation or the universe is saying it's some type of security. All right. But it's like, I don't know if you're blaming somebody for something. I mean, that energy is like... I am right in my face okay so I'm not really sure what's happening externally to you it's like not wanting to accept oh, I gotta stretch my legs I'm working from bed guys I'm working from bed my back was rocking ton of ass so I don't know if you guys are seeing 10 10 too but it's like whatever this is it's like betrayal and and I don't even like looking at I don't even like looking at the ton of air as betrayal in this deck um it's definitely a transformation with the hierophant here it's like it can be a very spiritual path that you're considering taking but to me or it's like you're in this that this spotlight you're going through a transformation though so if you're having money issues it looks like being with the Ten of Pence or just your foundation. looks like it can get better, but to you, it's like, no. I feel like forgiveness, but you're not having it. So, pull out. So, it's like, I don't know what you're doing with the Leo. You got the Ace of Air at the bottom of the deck. So, it's like, there's a conversation that's needed. doesn't look like it's happening. It doesn't feel stagnant, but it also is like, I also feel like somebody is not budging. You got this opportunity right here to move forward and to change your foundation. But it's like, to me, the sun is, is major clarity for the next couple weeks that's been coming out of the deck. Um, it's like, where are you going to invest? I don't think you've healed from something. Tell me about the tool of fire. So this is a brand new opportunity. You got the lovers and the death. So it's like not accepting. Yeah, see, it's like you're not having it. You're blaming someone else for what's happening to you right now. You're not accepting. You're not making a decision. Maybe you're in a relationship, but it looks like there's somebody else. There's something here. Tell me about the Hierophant. So it's like you're not making a decision. You're not accepting your new path. You're, you're in denial. The Hierophant again with the Seven of Cups. So not only are you in denial, you're confused. 
tell me about transformation. Just understand you're going through a transformation, which I think you kind of do, but at the same time, yeah, see, it's not, you're not accepting it. You're super impatient. You're, you're stuck in your ways. You're stubborn, and you're blaming somebody else for something. Um, tell me about the center earth. I Something, it has to do with your foundation here. I don't know if someone's messing with your foundation. Somebody made a foolish move, but it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like you don't want to take a leap of faith. So you got the two of cups here. So it's like there's passion here with somebody. And it's like you don't want to take a leap of faith because you feel like this person's already betrayed you. Or you feel like this person, the only thing they're going to do is betray you. So again, denial. Blame game. Some of my Pisces are not owning up to their own shit. All right? So it's like, tell me about the sun. I don't know if it's saying there's been growth here, you know, um, but whatever it is, it's like you're coming out of anxiety. So to me, it looks like there's definitely somebody else here because this path is, again, the tool path is at the bottom of the deck. So it's like, and you're taking that path with somebody, but it's like you're in denial. You don't want to take a chance. You're not accepting. You know, somebody you feel like you betrayed, so you feel like somebody betrayed you and you think it'd be foolish to even walk in that direction, but it's the two of cups. So this is somebody you got a lot of love for, but you're super confused. But it's like, you're blaming, it looks like you're blaming somebody else for something. And regardless of that, I'm telling you, you got to push through that. And normally I'm like, oh my God, guys, it's okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? But it's like, no, like there's something here where it's like, it's petty. I feel petty. It's like you're holding on to something. You're doing it yourself. You're holding on to it, you know? And it's like, whether you're with this person or you go towards this person or not, you got to let that go. You want your freedom. You got to release. You have the power to create your own happiness. So go create your own happiness. To me, it looks like, because these are linked. So I, I don't know if someone you love betrayed you or you felt betrayed, stabbed in the back. You know, all I know is that with the sun here, it's, it's like you're coming out of anxiety. It's like you, you're battling. You've been battling yourself. So it looks like the end of the two-week period, you pulled slowing down. It looks like the end of the two-week period, you know, things are going to get a little easier for you. But I, again, it's like... You need to slow down. You have the lovers at the bottom of the deck too, but it's like the universe is kind of like, slow down, you know, take a breath. So you're frustrated. You're pissy. The emperor reversed is pissed off, impatient. All you can think about is betrayal, confusion, lovers. So I don't know if there's two people in the picture. Somebody betrayed you. You betrayed them. But it's like, again, not wanting to own up to your own shit. There's somebody here that's not wanting to own up to their own shit. And you're like, you got this ton of, you got your foundation right here. It's like, take a leap of faith and go. But it's like, I don't know if you think it's foolish or I think you're having a hard time moving forward with somebody you love. But there's, there's a lot of attraction. But it's like, nah, you betrayed me. And it doesn't, I don't see cheating. I don't see nothing like that. It's like somebody cut somebody with words. But I do feel like with the lovers coming out twice, both being reversed, it's an, it's an important decision. And it's like, you don't, you don't want to forgive. You don't want to move forward. You don't want to process what's happening. Okay, so it looks like the moral of the story is a conversation is needed with this ace. It's like speaking the truth. I don't know if you're in hermit mode or somebody you're dealing with is in hermit mode. But it looks like by the end of the two weeks, it's like truth gets delivered. Something gets delivered. But, you know, it's, it's time to slow down. Pull one more for your best advice. Because that was just an additional message, but I'm going to pull your best advice here because it's like, 
It's like, yeah, not really in denial, you know. Um, it's, it's sorrow, it's headache, it's, it's betrayal, it's something like that, okay? It's like you're coming to the end of it, though, so stop holding on to it. And it's, it's living the moment, you're not even living in the moment. It's, it's go, 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 not accepting, playing the blame game, not looking after your own well-being, not slowing down, not nurturing yourself. It's like you're just looking at something in such a negative way. Like, stop. Please stop. Live in the moment. Let the sorrow go. The pain, the betrayal, whatever it is. And it's like, until you take blame for some of this, you're going to sit in this for a little while. So please do your best to, to look after yourself. You want the freedom. You want to escape from all this. Go do it. But you have to accept your own responsibility in whatever part you played here. I don't know if you fell in love with somebody and there was always someone else. Like, I don't know. But it's like, it's like you're aware, but it's like you don't, you don't want to let go of whatever it is you're trying to blame on someone else. It's like not owning up to your own shit either. Taking care of yourself. Being responsible for the part you played. Because I'm telling you, they're screaming pity. Pity party. Okay? So for those who are not in the pity party and it's the opposite energy and you're extremely hurt from whatever happens, I I'm sorry like lousy awful energy you know but you're gonna you're gonna push through that but i feel like this is a group of my pisces that are holding on to something petty and it's like you can process all this you're choosing not to but i don't know if you made the foolish move okay and then and then you felt betrayed you know just slow down breathe take a breath all right create your own happiness right now because right now you're not you're too focused on the negative aspect of things. Big breast Pisces. Huge, huge breast, please. I love you. Bye. <clears throat>